what a place. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'll just stop over here and do a bit to camera. Wow, what a view. Look at this. Oh, hello folks. And today I'm in one of my favourite glens in the whole of Scotland, which may come as a, a surprise to some of you, but yeah, I fancied a whisky and I don't really drink whisky. There's only one time that I drink whisky and it's been months since I've had the chance to do that and that's when I'm doing a wild camp. So I thought I'd seize the moment. The weather's beautiful, it's early spring and I'm heading up the glen, hopefully to go to a small, I wouldn't call it a hill, a, an, out, an outcrop maybe, I don't know. But hopefully somewhere with a nice view and uh, spend the night on top of that wee hill. So you can see the sun's starting to lower a fair bit. I've got a couple hours until sunset, so I better bash on and I'll report back when I'm further up the glen. Right, let's go. <laughs> My intended camp spot was at the hill, basically at the end of this this track or this road. And I wasn't too sure if I was going to make it. My knee was still playing up and that was the whole reason for this trip. Not just the whiskey, but cycling up would save my, uh, my knee getting sore going downhill. Another thing which I was a bit worried about was the amount of daylight I had left. Oh, well, this is just stunning. It's lovely. They're obviously doing a wee bit of burning further up the glen. There's a lot of smoke there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's getting on a bit. I've been on the go for... Oh, over an hour now and my intended camp spot's about nine. It's over nine miles up the glen. And the very end of it's about, I've got a wee bit of a push of the bike. Whether I make it to the the height that I want to go to, I'm not sure, but yeah, I need to, uh, I need to make, I need to make progress because it's about four or five kilometers still to go. And that sun is getting lower and lower towards the uh, horizon. <laughs> I really want to have the, uh, the, the tent set up, and I'm in there, I never mentioned where I was, I'm in Glen Ammond, and that's what I thought might surprise some people, because it's not a really famous or well-known Glen, but I tell you what, it's, it's just, it's, it's beautiful, it's quite, the hills are quite steeply positioned on either side, and it's just got a lovely feel about it, although we're quite close to the the towns of Creef and Comrie and places like that, this could be anywhere in the Highlands, and it's just so accessible, it's lovely. I've been up here many a summer day with the family and when the kids were wee, we used to come up here on the bike, so I've got pleasant memories. Never came this far up right enough. <laughs> anyway, I'm having a few issues with my pannier rack, which I'll talk about later on, but yeah, I need to get, I need to get further up, I need to get to my camp spot and uh, get the tent up before it gets dark, so yeah, I'll report back later. Let's go. Getting closer, you see there's a nice wee, uh, if I had time I'd stop and photograph that old uh, building behind me there, but uh, you can see the shadows are starting to grow long, <laughs> there's fine back there. And if I spin you around, hopefully we'll see this hill up here is where I'm hoping to camp, there. But I've no idea whether I'm going to get to the top or not, to be honest with you. It does look like it could be a bit of a steep push of the bike up there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the sun's just kind of sneaking behind it at the moment. Anyway, right. I need to shut up and get going. What a beautiful evening though. <laughs> hey, let's go. I'm almost <laughs> at the spot where I need to cross the river. And then from there, it's a steep pull up behind me. I don't know, you'll not be able to see it in the camera at the moment, but there's a wee dam here. And I'm hoping I can just fit my bike along the top of it. Then there's a track that goes steeply up here. And uh, this is going to be the hardest bit. I've got about half an hour till sundown. In fact, because of the valley, I mean, the sun is literally about to disappear. So let's get the bike across here and try and get up there and get the tent up before it gets dark. I've usually got about an hour. Once the sun goes down, I usually give myself about an hour of daylight before it gets uh, head torch time, so I think I'll be okay, but let's go. In terms of distance travelled, I'd probably done most of it, but the hardest part was still to come. That hill up on the left hand side was where I was going to have to, I'd love to say cycle the bike to, but basically push the bike to, and this was going to be the hardest part, both for my knee and for my lungs, was 
this lung busting ascent. It was about, I think, about 250, 300 metres ascent to get up here. And with the heavy, the heavy bike and pannier rack, I was struggling. I was puffing and panting going up here and stopping lots as well, pretending to enjoy the views, but just catching my breath. Right. Oh, a bit of a breath, there's a bike. Top of the hill's just behind me there. This is hard work, I'll spin you around. I'm determined to get to the top of that hill, but I've just been pushing it the whole way up. If I spin around, you can see where I've come from. It doesn't look too, too steep there, but it drops down into the glen down there, and it's super, super steep. But look at these views I'm going to have tonight, hopefully. Lovely, lovely. That sky might go a nice colour in a wee while too, so... Just a wee rest. Another 20 minutes and I should be there, but... Could be getting dark by the time I get the tent out. <laughs> Hope I haven't forgotten anything. Woo! Ah. Ah. After nearly oh. giving up a few times, I eventually reached the top of the hill. And the sun had just dipped behind the horizon as I got there, so... I, I thought I'd nip over to the summit, but I knew uh, it was hard pushed to get the tent up and needed to get going before it got dark. Alright, this is the summit of the wee hill. Now I need to find somewhere to pitch the tent. This is a Monroe over the back here. It was beautifully lit up just a wee while ago, but the sun's just, yeah, starting to fade now. Had I been a bit fitter and my knee was okay, I'd be heading up there in the morning, but uh, not today. I need, really need to find somewhere nice and flat, maybe a bit sheltered out of this wind to get the tent up. So that's what I'm going to go and do now. Get the tent up. Ooh. And then I need to get something to eat because I am starving. <laughs> yeah, this bit here looks quite good. Let's get the tent up. Just off the summit of the hill there was a, an area that under normal circumstances I wouldn't have gone anywhere near because it would have been super wet and boggy but because it had been dry for so long it was actually nice and flat and a perfect spot for my tent. So I set about trying to get the tent out as light was, was fading, the band of Venus was appearing in the eastern skies and the sun had gone, gone, gone down a long time ago. So I was keen to get the tent up without the need of a head torch. And I was feeling alright, my knee was actually not too bad at this point. Um, although, the, the the fact that I hadn't walked had it's helped that, that's the whole reason I brought the bike. But the skies were looking lovely and had I not been in a rush to get the tent up I would have stopped for some photography, but needs must. Oh, it's starting to get dark! Food up, starving. I managed to get the tent up just before darkness fell, and as soon as I did that, I was really, really hungry. So I set about getting my dinner on and started to get ready for tea. Found myself a nice wee seat. Oh, quite comfy. A wee table here. Time for tea. Well, I've not really. Uh, Done many bits to camera, it's been a bit of a rush. Uh, you can see I've changed, I've got my leggings on underneath my trousers. And I've actually got my big uh, duvet jacket on because the temperature is dropping quite quickly. I've got my hat on, so I'm keen to get my, my tea on now. And what I'll do is, once I've had my tea, I'll report back when I'm back in the tent. But yeah, it's actually settled down a bit, the wind's dropped right down. So I think it's going to be a good night, so tea time now. Let's get this on. Had to get a new filter. My old one clogged up and um, they're so good these ones. <laughs> I've just gone for the same type again. I need to just look after this one a bit better. Alright, let's get this water on. I've got some new food tonight. Or a new style, a new style, a new type. Real Turmat. Red Thai red curry. So I'm looking forward to this. I'll report back and let you know what it's like. If it's any good. Ah, right. Let's get this place. 
weón. Oh, just waiting for that tea to, to cook. Let me just turn this off so I'm not shining it in your eyes. So, yeah, I am. Thought I'd do a bit to camera and just tell you where I am and uh, wh why I'm here, I suppose. <laughs> so, I am. It, it feels quite remote, but I'm not really that remote. I'm at the head of Glen Ammond, and behind me, the silhouette, as you might be able to make out, is the. 10th highest mountain in Scotland, which is Ben Lors, which is a fantastic peak. And these are the hills that you look over to when you're on Ben Lors, looking across Loch Tay. And uh, I've brought the bike because my knee, I'm not going to talk bang on about my knee, but uh, I'm still not ready for the big hills yet. And I thought, if I can cycle up here and cycle down, because it's downhill where I get the pain, so if I can cycle down, it's going to, uh, yeah, it's going to offer me the opportunity. But I tell you what, that, <laughs> that last bit, Coming up, pushing the bike up, that was tough. I can feel my knee a wee bit, so I'm not sure if my brakes on my bike are good enough to, to allow me to cycle down there <laughs> in the morning. But uh, yeah, it's just really needed to get away. It's just it's just nice. I'm currently just watching the, the last of the lights fading behind me, as you can probably see. And I've just, just been sitting watching the stars come out one by one, twinkling away. So the moon isn't rising until about three o'clock in the morning, so I might get some nice star shots tonight. I don't know. We'll give it a shot anyway, but... Just now I'm going to have my tea and then I'm going to chill in the tent and uh, I've got my stove with me so I might uh, I might get that going to heat me up because it's not warm, it's uh, a bit chilly so yeah let's go and get some food and I'll speak to you in a wee while. Now this is what it's all about, I've got my wee stove going, I've got it on top of the rock here and as I've said before this stove keeps everything off the ground and uh, it just burns away to nothing. Yeah, it's just a wee bit of ash left in the morning. It's fantastic. And this rock here, uh, this is just a perfect seat actually, it's lovely. It's been nice to have my, my tea here as well. <laughs> it's almost like I've got my table here and a seat here and it's quite comfortable. It's been quite dry and the moss is dry. Anyway, the reason I came was I wanted to have some whiskey. And the whiskey I've got in my hip flask today, I think it's the same as the last time I had some whiskey. Let me just turn this off in case I'm blinding it. It's a Tom and Towel. I think I think it's a I don't know if Tom and Towel's a space aid or a Highland whiskey, but it's very nice. <laughs> oh yes, lovely. And as always, I've got some chili peanuts just down here to to help me. <laughs> a wee snack from my whiskey. But this is lovely, it's nice, the wind's dropped right down, as I said earlier on, the, the stars, it's just, the, the sky's amazing. Once uh, once the fire dies down a wee bit, I'm going to do some astro, take some astro shots, and uh, see what they come out like. There's no moon, so it's really, really starry, it's lovely, but for the time being, I'm just going to enjoy this wee fire. For, it'll only burn for 40, 45 minutes, and then that'll be me, I'll take some shots and retire to the tent, but it's uh, it's lovely. And as I said, you don't have to go too far. This um, this area is just into the highlands and no more, but you do... It would have taken me quite a while to walk in this far, so the bike does make a big difference in these places. And uh, get some nice views. As I said, there's a Monroe over there, Ben Honsey, and Ben Lors, the Lors Range is, is just over there. But there's lots of Corbett's around about here as well. It's a lovely, lovely Glen, lovely area. Doesn't get much attention and... Um, yeah. That's that's fine by me. <laughs> Get my solitude and enjoy it up here. So anyway, I'm gonna shop now. Warm myself up with my whiskey and my fire and enjoy the stars. So having had my tea, the, the vegan red Thai curry, which was very nice, and my whiskey and peanuts, I settled down for the night, waiting for the sunrise the next morning.
Sådan. Uh, good morning. What a stunning, stunning morning it is, as you can probably tell. What time are we at now? It's about quarter to seven. And uh, yeah, I didn't wake up before <laughs> before sunrise this morning. I woke up with the sun, which is shining in down Glen Almond uh, from the east. It's absolutely beautiful. And then over my shoulder here, I can see the the mountains of the Lors Range, which still have lots of patches of snow in them, and the sun's illuminated them. So yeah, not much wind. Slept okay. I did have my winter system with me today. Uh, my sleeping system. I had my X Bed Nine uh, thick ground mat and my Rab Ascent 900 which is my winter stuff, it's, it's a bit bigger, a bit more bulky but you know what, the, the bike was doing most of the work carrying it in so that was that was fine, I slept alright, woke up once or twice and um, yeah the reason I had that is it's, it's that time of the year where it's it's, war it's actually quite warm now in the sun but as soon as the sun went down last night it got pretty cold and there are bits of uh, frost round about the tent so it did drop down below zero uh, last night. Right. Anyway, I'm going to go and uh, chill, at the chill at the summit, which is about <laughs> two minutes that way, and um, do that. Just taking the views before, uh, yeah, before making coffee. <laughs> Having enjoyed the fantastic views from the summit of this little hill, my stomach was starting to protest and my brain was needing some caffeine. So I headed back to the tent and grabbed my breakfast and headed over to my wee seat and my wee table for some grub. Time. Good thing about spag num moss. Use it to clean my uh, my spoon. Let's give this a start. Well, for breakfast I've got a banana. Oh, a banana. A pork pie left from yesterday, and a bar of chocolate. I usually have Snickers, but uh, there wasn't any in the shop. So, but this is just fantastic. I'm just sitting here and. Um, Behind the camera there's a bit of, there's some hags, peat hags and I don't know, the small birds just bouncing about the air, <laughs> bouncing about? I don't know what the correct terminology would be. I think they're meadow pipits and um, the, other, the other sound that I'm hearing lots of is grouse. The kind of guttural call of the grouse, it's, it, it woke me up this morning. There's lots of grouse round about here and uh, yeah, it's just lovely. There's not a drop of wind and... Um, there's a bit of, I'm starting to get a bit warm now, the frost has all been melted from the ground and there's a bit of warmth in that sun now. Just love this time of year, it's, it's fantastic. Anyway, I think, um, you know, the beauty of this location is, I, I could probably sit here for days upon end and not meet another soul, maybe the odd gamekeeper, but uh, the, it's not a Monroe, it's not a Corbett, the, 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 the Monroe behind me, Ben Honsey, that'll be heaving with people. There's, I'd be surprised if there's not been double digit figure to the summit already and it's um, 10 to 9. Yeah, you don't always have to go, you, you know, you don't have to go too far. I mean, I could have gone to the Oakle Hills, um, I did that uh, with a, a recent video where I was watching the Aurora with uh, with Ray from Renegade um, Scott Channel. And we never met another soul and felt felt lovely and yeah, it's just, just nice getting away from it. And, I just enjoy this these sort of areas where there's less less people around. It allows you to gather your thoughts and hit the reset button a wee bit and forget about the stresses of 
9 to 5 living in the rat race and, and all that stuff so I am just going to sit here, enjoy my coffee, I'm in no rush it's a free wheel down, apart from the steep bit I honestly don't think that bike is going to be good enough <laughs> to, for braking going down that steep bit so anyway I'm going to shop now, I've been waffling on for far too long this is just gorgeous Right, well that's me all ready to go Leave no trace as always And what a fantastic uh, wee adventure this has been And I'll be down that glen probably within an hour And I'm only 20 minutes from home so I shall be sat back home Brownie points earned because I'm not away <laughs> all day Yeah, so thanks for watching And thanks for, um, if, you're stayed, if you stayed on to, to watch the channel this far Thank you very much As always stay safe out there And I'll hopefully see you on the next adventure Right Time we get the all the gear away and start heading Burn downhill to the back to the car. The one thing I was quite worried about was the fact that my brakes might not work going down such steep gradients and I would have to walk downhill which is what was causing the knee pain. But uh, you know what, the brakes were fine and I was freewheeling down the glen and back to the car in no time at all. What a fantastic adventure it had been and although it was slightly different to my normal fare it was so nice to get out and doing a bit of wild camping. Quite enjoy this bike malarkey, especially the downhill bit at the end. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next adventure.